Life is full of ups and downs, and it's usually how we emerge on the other side that really matters. Now, our guest today has had her fair share of challenges, but today she is the epitome of restoration and all things beautiful. So we at Mali had to honor her in one way or another today and just celebrate the inspiration that she is. Ladies and gentlemen, time to go and meet the beautiful Kamboa. Like I said, with us is the stunning Kamboa. Oh. You are just a beauty. Like Thanks. you radiate when you walk into a room, in case you. you didn't know. <laughs> Thank you, Grace. Thanks for making time for you us. You are gorgeous yourself. You. And I'm but so happy to sit and chat with you. Same here. Yeah. Thank you so much. This means a lot to us. I know you're very busy, new mommy, oh. a lot happening. I totally get it. Yeah. So thank you. I appreciate your time. My pleasure. It's always, um, you know, yes, I'm busy, new mommy, but it's always good to just step, step out, out and breathe. So right? this is me stepping out, out to breathe. I'm to glad. Have adult conversation. I'm glad. <laughs> I totally get it. <laughs> yeah. So how are you? Hopeful about the new year? What are you? What state are you in? I'm very hopeful about the new year. I'm also, you know, um, you know that point in mother or in newborn yeah. phase when you start to settle. Like a few months in, you're like, okay, now I'm set. Now I can make sense of things. I hear you. That's where I am. So I'm really excited because it also helps me able to um, plan other things regarding my career and Same. all of that that ha I had obviously put, put on hold. On hold yeah. oh, so that means we could see a bit more of you in this yes. new season. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. We're looking forward to that. We'll let, <laughs> we let you surprise us with that. <laughs> Pray for me. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. But speaking of season, um, like I said, when we look at you, um, you are the, the epitome of restoration and it's a beautiful thing to watch and see. So for you, what does this season mean for you or to you um it's been yes a season of restoration it's been a season of me experiencing the grace of god yeah. in just you know every area of my life yeah um things i've trusted him for you know some that are public <laughs> you know everybody knows my you know a bit of my story to motherhood but yeah. also some very personal things that um I see God restoring and just setting in place for me and um, it's really very exciting especially because I always said because the fourth floor is knocking oh is it it is knocking grace <laughs> it's calling me <laughs> I think I'm, I'm three years getting into it yeah so yeah. I'm a little closer than you oh I see and, and I'm two years getting into it and okay. um, gracefully I, so <laughs> thank you I, you know, first of all, the fourth floor always looked so far. Right? I remember when I'd see people at any foot, I'm like, wow. I know. <laughs> like, those are many years. <laughs> yeah. Please wow. tell me. <laughs> Give me wisdom. <laughs> I totally get it. Yeah, we are. I think I had a moment the other day and I was like, hey, yeah. <laughs> like, it's not that far. No. And you start to check, what have I done? Have I yes. done enough? Where yes. should I be? Right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And I, I think when I got to like my mid thirties, I, I, I felt a bit of a crisis mm -hmm. as far as have I achieved even half of the things I want yeah. to achieve? What kind of an impact have I made? I um, and all of that. So to some extent, 40 felt like pressure because I was really? like, oh my gosh, I cannot turn 40 and I've not done this and I've done, not done right. this. Um, but now God is really settling me Good. and um, telling me to um, trust him Amen. but also to step out in faith and just to do do not overthink because I'm an, I, I'm in my Same head here. a lot I hear you. <laughs> you too I hear you. I'm in my head a lot and it's held me back from doing um, things that are in line with my vision and my purpose so it's a season for me to just step out and to do and to trust him nice. which is also why I'm here I'm just stepping out thank you because <laughs> I have really tried to have this conversation you have, with you yeah. for the longest time. Mm -hmm. um, but I also do believe in timing and God's yeah. perfect time. So there's a reason why this is happening now. Yeah. And I can only be grateful. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And because you've touched on it just now, yeah. I'm talking about in line with your purpose and vision. If I could ask, what do you feel or know is your purpose? Mm. Um, and how does one get to that place of knowing? Mm -hmm. For those who could be on the journey of searching and trying to figure it out. How do you get that place of knowing? 
Um, wow, that's a really good question. It's also a very deep question. Uh, but I'll, I'll let say, there. On, <laughs> <laughs> I'll say on my part, finding my purpose came through serving and serving and using my gifts to serve okay. the gifts that God has given me um, so the obvious ones are my gift of music okay. um, using that to speak to people to inspire people and I started to identify the spaces that really make me make my heart tick that keep me up at night thinking you know so it's a space surrounding um, conversations around women and the issues that affect women okay. and I knew that I, I want to use my voice to inspire to encourage to lift women to um, let them know that they are enough the way they are um, so the, you know that's the voice that that's that God has given me using different platforms yeah. Uh, but I, I, I realized that I would not have discovered my purpose if I sat mm. back mm. and waited for a revelation because I think that's what we imagine it is right? you will sit and you'll pray and it will just appear yes pray all of those things I do even but be also still if you need to. even be still but if you act. need to okay. but act you know what is it that you have what is it that you can do yeah. start to do it and it starts to fall in place God literally orders your steps so um, I can't say I have it all figured out but I definitely know um, it's become clearer and clearer for me and it, it makes you shed off a lot of excess baggage excess um, responsibilities that you do not need to take up on yourself um, because there was a time when I was younger where I was doing anything and everything can you do this yeah sure can you do this yeah sure I have time I you know I can do it um, but then just as you can do it just mean that you should it's, you should be doing it you know so um, so then I have learned to say no to certain doors and opportunities because I know that's not in line with my calling it's a great opportunity but it's not for me um, so that uh, you know it's figuring it out uh, as we go I think this answer could be different five years from now but that's what my um, my understanding of discovering your your vision and your purpose is yeah okay Kambua um, what for you has been so far it's, it's been three years back to back mm -hmm. the motherhood journey mm -hmm. um, what's been the biggest lesson that you've learned and I guess it's not three years it's been a couple of years mm -hmm. um, journey to and then now mm -hmm. what would you say have been your biggest lessons in motherhood so far um, my biggest lesson has been um, in waiting, mm. um, but not just waiting, waiting <laughs> gracefully. Mm. Um, because like you can wait and be angry, you can wait and anxious. be bitter yeah. uh. and anxious. And it's a choice, it's True. a choice you make. True. Um, the future is unknown to all of us, but we all start off with hopes and desires just like I did I you know I knew I had my timelines mm -hmm. get married have, have a baby have a baby yeah you know by the time I'm 30 I'm just raising my babies <laughs> but here I am nearing the fourth floor with little, little babies ones. you know yeah. um, trusting the timing of your life and trusting that God cares about the, your desires mm -hmm. Um, so the years of waiting and getting into motherhood and everything, all the dynamics it has had, um, have taught me to really, really, what it really truly means to wait on God. Um, but that the condition of my heart matters as I wait. Because I cannot be saying, God, I trust you, but, but I'm you're doubting. doubting. Or you're me. angry. And yeah. I'm angry and I'm bitter. And I'm... Um, God really, those are years of God working on my heart and working on who I am as a, as a person um, and allowing myself to be used of him and allowing him to take control of my life even though I didn't know if the outcome would be what I wanted. I didn't, it was not a guarantee. I didn't know that um, I would ever have children, yeah? Um, but he, he did it and I'm so grateful that he did. But I had to get to the place where my love for God was not conditional. It was not pegged on, I will love Whether you if you give me not. children. It was, I love you, period. I will serve you, period. So everything else that has come, motherhood, the yeah. journey, which is, which is so beautiful, yeah. has been a plus to my relationship and my walk with God. Oh, gosh. Yeah. 
like I feel like that's where you end the conversation. Like, <laughs> like how deep is that? How do you? And this for those watching at home, um, it's natural human nature yeah. to yeah. get lost in ourselves, to yeah. to be hurt, you know, yeah. to worry. Yeah. Um, so for purposes of those who go through that, what would you tell them today? How do you get to this place you're in? Because that's a powerful place to be. Um, it's a powerful place to be. It's not an easy place to get to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and, you know, all those things I've mentioned, the bitterness, the anger, those yeah. are things I felt. They're real emotions. They are. Um, and when you think about it as a human being, as a woman, you're justified to feel those things, especially because it seems like the easiest thing for everybody else. People literally sneeze and get pregnant. <laughs> You. you know, and, you. And, and we live in such um, a harsh society towards women as, you know, in the African society, really harsh towards women. And it's always, you know, if a, if a family has no children, it's blamed on the woman. Mm. And even if so it unfair. is because of the woman, um, you're castigating somebody for something that is beyond their yeah, control. control. Surely, Grace, if we could all manufacture children, if it was just right? that easy, we would do it, I you know. You. Um, but because um, all this is up to a sovereign God and his timing and his you know, purposes and decisions. Um, but as a human being, I, yeah. I, I felt those things. I felt those emotions. And uh, how I got to that place was um, having tried everything I could mm. in my human strength. human strength and wisdom. To fix the situation and I couldn't and um, and you find that you have limitations mm -hmm. um, there, there are processes I could not even afford you know mm -hmm. and so when you when you realize I've run out of my cards mm -hmm. yeah um, then the next step would be it's either to choose to rest in God or to completely lose yourself mm -hmm. and lose it um, I had a choice I had a choice to make whether I would trust God or I would throw everything to the wind, you know? And I realized that throwing everything to the wind means that all these years I've walked with God have been for nothing, you know? I've been talking about a God who heals, who restores, who, so have they been for nothing? Am I now saying that this situation, Kambua situation is changes impossible? Who God is. Changes who he is? So, I made a choice. I made a choice that I was not going to live the rest of my life bitter and angry. Okay. And I told God, I want to serve you and I want you to use me mm. as I am. But give me back my joy. Mm. Give me back my peace. Wow. Um, allow me to feel fulfilled. Yeah. And um, regardless of my reality. Regardless of my reality. Mm. Lift my head up because. Mm there's a, a, a cover of shame that mm -hmm. comes over you and people keep telling you you cannot do this you cannot do this you're not this you know um, you begin to wear those labels and they're so heavy to carry um, so when I allowed God to do that he lifted he lifted that heaviness off of me he gave me my joy he gave me my peace I became a happy person I started to serve from a place of peace and a place of true joy and it was at when I was at that place I didn't realize that God was already working a miracle for me in my life so um, you know God tells us to ask and will receive so when you ask him for for your peace and your joy um, he will give it to you and 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 then you get to, to the place of knowing that as a person, as a, as a woman, Kambua, I, I am enough. Everything else is an addition. Um, for, for different people, it's different things. For yeah. some people, it's marriage, you know? It's, if you've been told you're not, you're not, you're not, because you don't have husband, that title, you don't have yes. a wife, you don't have that title. Yeah. But getting to a place of knowing I am a complete person, yeah. <laughs> you know? And I have a lot to offer the world as I am. Yeah. And as I serve God, he will grant me the desires of, of my heart mm -hmm. in his time and he, God does it so beautifully when mm -hmm. you leave it to him he does it so so beautifully so um, yeah it's getting to a place of surrender but it's a choice that we have to make I love that yeah. like so many gems so so many gems so come if you could speak to your younger self you mentioned we all have a plan you know get married at this age and have children and this that and the other mm -hmm. you could speak to the younger Kambua yeah. now knowing what you know yeah having been through what you've been through yeah what would you tell that girl 
I would tell that girl to <laughs> um, to be open to the leading of God. To I tell Kambua, younger Kambua, it's okay to make your plans, but trust them to God, um, and to remember that I am not the one um, at the wheel. <laughs> I'm not the one in charge. I'm not the one driving this mm. this you know this vehicle. Yeah that there is the the higher power who for me is god yeah. that i have trusted with my life and to trust that he will orchestrate everything in the way that um that will bring, bring glory to him that yeah. will honor him um so yeah i think it's just that if i had made my plans knowing that perhaps god could shift things here 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 it, it might have been an easier journey mm -hmm. but because we, we we are so rigid yeah with you know and we we have it all figured out we think we do <laughs> we think we do <laughs> think we do <laughs> we think we do and then everything goes like this and you're like oh my gosh what happened um it would just have been a lot easier if i had been more open to the leading of god when i was younger but yeah here we are yeah so from your life experiences what's the one thing currently that you will take that will shape your future from this journey of motherhood what's what lessons um what are you taking from that journey that will shape you forever mm. um <laughs> that the things that uh are most valuable are the things that i cannot give to myself mm. they are the things that are truly truly things that only god can give and um like that. So that's it's a tweet right there. I like that. <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it, it's the children, it's the peace, it's the joy, yeah. it's the sanity, it's the all. All these are things I cannot buy, yeah. even if I had all the money in the world. Yeah. They're things that only God can give me. Um, it's a fulfillment that only God can give. So, yeah. I like that. What are you loving most about this new, this current journey you're in, Mama Watoto? Mama Watoto. What are you <laughs> loving most? <laughs> the chaos <laughs> <laughs> it's really so beautiful so chaotic so hard so beautiful intense chaotic, right yes <laughs> beautiful chaos oh, it's beautiful chaos <laughs> so i find myself you know in a day you could laugh and cry i know multiple times <laughs> <laughs> i totally get it <laughs> because it's so much happening um uh, one of course your body your hormones mm. are all over the place yep. <laughs> they still have a while to settle in but also because you're trying to figure out nobody teaches you how to no. be a mommy you can read all the books when you're yes. pregnant by the way you yeah? can. what to expect when you're expecting <laughs> ah you read that book <laughs> yes but the practical expect first year of the do i tell you yes the practical is something else it's a whole different ball game yeah. you know and just seeing these little people who depend on you mm -hmm. and sometimes you're like i don't even know what i'm doing myself Tell you know but they, they just think that mommy knows, mommy knows. um so but there's sometimes mommy needs to be mommy yes. <laughs> so i have many conversations with my mom we're like i'm so mama, tired I you know you. i don't I know you. what to do um so um it's it's a journey that's really and then other times just looking at i look at my children i'm like what a miracle what a mi like it's so surreal right. looking at them and um you know my son nathaniel because now he talks and we have conversations okay. and he'll, he'll tell me things like so much because he, he's he's trying to understand how he he came out of my tummy and how his sister came out of my tummy okay so like so mommy can I now, can I go back into your tummy and, and then, then we, out. I'm like, <laughs> it doesn't work like that. <laughs> it's done, baby. You're here to stay. It's done. You're too big to go back yeah. in. <laughs> um, but even, it, it helps me also see the miracle of it all. Right. That a whole human being <laughs> came, came out, from you. Came from me. Yeah. Um, really, uh, the wonder of who God is. Yeah. So I am I am I am enjoying motherhood and everything that comes with it. Um, enjoying the season, being present because the time also moves so fast. Doesn't it? They grow too quickly, too fast. Please enjoy <laughs> every bit of it. I am. Even the chaotic moments. Even yes. I tell myself when I'm in yes. the middle of the chaos, like yes. it's just for a season, Grace. Yes, yes. And it's all worth it. It's all worth it. It's all um, worth so it. yeah, being present, but also being very aware not to lose myself mm. in all of it. Yeah. It's so important to highlight. Yeah. Because we tend to do that as women, right? We do. Naturally it can happen. Yes. So how do you how do you be conscious of that? 
to still be mummy and wife yeah. and when get into Korea and mm -hmm. still be Kambua yeah. and find your passion or yeah. you know celebrate yourself how do you do that mindfully mm, I'm very um, aware of the things that I love to do I'm very aware of the things that I'm called to do okay. um, so I so here's the thing when I'm <laughs> Every time I've gone through a season of, okay, I'm having a baby, yeah. I literally block out the world, like oh, everything else, yeah. you know? Okay. I fall off the radar. I see. Um, so people are like, oh, there's a pattern. The next time she falls off the radar, we she's know like, she's <laughs> No. <laughs> Not that again. predictable. <laughs> but, um, and I only do that because I believe there's a time for everything. That's true. So, um, so that I'm able to 100% be in that moment that needs my everything. Yeah. But as that moment settles in, just like it's happening now mm -hmm. with my baby Nyashira, mm -hmm. she's settling in, um, I'm able to be like, okay, let me step out and have a cup of tea with Grace. Let me go to the studio and have a session. Fantastic. Let me, so I, what I'm doing is I'm still fanning the flame on the things that I like to do, the Fantastic. things that are just Kambua, they're not Kambua and the babies. I hear you. They're just Kambua. Um, let me go get my nails done. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it might seem like such little things, but, but I tell you, you come back home feeling like a new, like super woman. Okay, you're even know? a better mother, isn't <laughs> even it? Even a better mother. Yeah. You're in, you know, you're in a better mood. You're yeah. a better person to be around. So just having those pockets and, uh, and making sure that those pockets are sufficiently filled. Yeah. Um, you know, every time as I go through these seasons, I'm just learning how to balance everything as I go. Okay. Yeah. So as we almost wrap up. Yeah. What life lessons would you love to impart on your children? Mm. Or would you love for them yeah. to know and remember about mommy? Like yeah. that if someone asks them, what's the one thing you can tell me about mom? Yeah. What would you like that to be? Gosh, um, I would want them to know that um, mommy <laughs> fought for them. Mm. That mommy prayed for them. <laughs> cried for them. Um, uh, I would want them to know that they are the biggest blessing that God has ever given me. Yes. Yeah, and, and I, I don't believe anything would ever top that. Oh, bless. Yeah. Oh, to make us get all mushy. <laughs> so if you were on an island somewhere. Yeah. Gosh. Um, and you're only allowed to carry one thing. Yeah. What would that thing be? Who? Um. Mm. <laughs> and not who. What would that thing be? <laughs> Not a personal no. thing. Yeah. Does it have to be a tangible thing thing? It would be Object nice. Thing? But what I'm learning with this question is answer it as you would. What I guess what means the most to you? What would you go with? Um Yeah. <laughs> I would have said if it was a thing thing object, yeah. I would have said, you know, a way to communicate okay. with the people that I love. Make sure they're fine. <laughs> ETC. Okay. Um, but because I feel like it's not the most important thing for me, the things that are important for me are not tangible. So mm. I would take with me um, my ability to create music, my ability to write music. Fantastic. So whatever that is Looks that like. makes me be in that space to do that okay. is what I would take with me. So we have a journal or you'd have a studio in that island to be able to record yes. something like yes. that. Yes. Okay. Yes. I see that happening. So now, like I said, yeah. Mali, we are all about celebrating and honoring people who are doing amazing things in society. And for yeah. you, you have really inspired us with your story. I know it's not just me. And that loud picky picky, has it gone? <laughs> <laughs> um, you have inspired many of us. And we, for me, it's just my small way of celebrating, cheering you on. Thank you. And saying thank you. Thank you for sharing bits of your life with us. Thank I hope you, you like it. I realize you're not much of a watch person, I but you not. love sunnies. I do. So I hope I can coax you to wear mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I will love that. Your branding is so beautiful, Grace. Thank you. So, so beautiful. Can I open? Please. Please. Right. I want to see your reaction, what okay. you think. Okay. 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 Let me move my chai before it um, go. Have the big box. Okay. So you try I destroy the box. Oh, oh, okay, yes. okay. 
So and this I hadn't then. told you. So here you go. Can you? Okay. So this How is a beautiful scarf. is that? Oh my god! Like she may not like watches, but I hope she likes the scarf. I love the scarf. Yes. And the color is really beautiful too. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so you can feel it. Can you tell yes. me what you think? I want to feel it and show everybody how beautiful this is. Let's take a picture of you opening it. Oh my goodness! Do you Look like at it? That. It's beautiful. I love it. It's beautiful. Oh, I'm glad. Ah, thank I'm glad. you. <laughs> and then you have another gift in there. Okay. So those are our sunnies. All right. On the side. I'm on a mission to get you to wear my sunnies. <laughs> <laughs> I love sunnies. So. <laughs> have a lot of wrapping to make sure the white doesn't get dirty yes oh so I, I, I love wow I love your white. packaging is beautiful oh, thank you well done thank you my love all right da, 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 da. so did a matchy matchy thing for you yes pink you did pink sunnies to match your pink scarf <laughs> it's a pink vibe it's a pink vibe i love it Can I have a pop of color to your green? Yeah, I'll take that out for you. Yes, there you go. There you go. Oh, oh, those are beautiful. Yeah, you like it? That's See how for quickly you. I put my aside. <laughs> it's matching the lippy. Oh, oh, that looks good. Oh, you look no, I can't stunning. See my, oh, wait, let me see myself and myself. Oh, you look stunning. <laughs> oh. oh, those are beautiful. Wow, look at that. I'm glad you like it. I love it. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome, beautiful. <laughs> so you have two pouches. Yes. You have that option or yeah. mm -hmm. um, you have this option. Let me okay. open this for you. What? Am I confusing? Oh, this is a cloth for this. Okay. Oh yeah. So here's your cloth oh. to wipe your sunnies, yes. or if you want to use this option. Ah, very nice. Yeah, How thoughtful. On what you're feeling. Oh, and that is it. a piece of Mali to you. Oh, I yeah. love it. Thank you. Keep shining your beautiful light. Keep inspiring us. And thank you. And there's something at the back there for the babies. I've just remembered. Right next to you. Oh, so okay, you, yes, that, yes. that you can see at home with you and your babies. Okay, okay. That's for you thank you, Mama. From Mali. <laughs> thank you. You're most oh, welcome. I'm so happy. My year has started off great. We're happy. Yeah. We're happy. <laughs> we wish you all the very best. Thank you. Thank you, my dear. And you as well. Congratulations on Mali. <laughs>